In this video, I'm going to be showing you a simple tactic you can use for your Facebook ad hooks so you can get more views on your video ads, you can get higher click-through rates, cheaper CPMs, and hopefully that should translate into more sales. And this is going to be applicable, especially if you're selling products to men. And this is a very simple tactic that you can use, and I'm going to show you how other brands are using it. And if we have a look at this ad here, you can see it's got 9K views, 373 comments, 328 shares. And the simple tactic is to put an attractive female in the beginning of the ads. I know it sounds super simple, super stupid probably, but if you're selling men's products, and I'm gonna show you a few examples here, this is the easiest thing you can do in your product hooks to get more views, higher click-through rates. And then obviously once you've captured the customer's attention, then they're more likely to view the rest of the ad if they're interested in the product, they'll click through and they might make a purchase. So if we actually have a look at this ad here, they are selling these metal silhouettes of cars. If we have a look at the first few seconds, you can see it's this attractive woman here just putting it on her wall. And that is the reason why this ad has got so many likes, comments, and shares. If we actually go and have a look at the ad itself, we can scroll down and we can see in the comments, it says that first girl looks pretty nice. So this is a simple tactic you can use. Like I say, especially if you're selling men's products, just put an attractive female in the first few seconds of the ad and you're way more likely to get more views on your ads, higher click-through rates, and actually capture the audience's attention. So especially imagine this is on the Facebook feed or the Instagram Explore page. People are more likely to click on this. It's very simple psychology. Men are more likely to click on something with an attractive female in it. Now I have found this product using a product research tool called Minia. And what you can do with Minia is you can click on ads from same advertiser and you can see that they're using this tactic in multiple different ads. So you can see they have another ad here with an attractive female putting the product on the wall. If we scroll down, you can see they've got another one here with an attractive female. They've got another one here. And if we scroll down, they're using it for some other products as well. So they're using the same strategy. And if we actually have a look at this store, it's a super simple store. So it is a niche store. They are selling these car silhouettes for around $80 you can easily go and get these on AliExpress for around 10 to 12 pounds. So they have a massive markup on these particular products and they don't even need to have to worry about copyright or anything like that because they're not actually using any brand names. So they haven't put the word Porsche in, they're just using 911. So they're kind of using a loophole to actually sell these particular products. And as I mentioned, they have got a massive markup on these products and they are using this simple tactic of putting an attractive female in all of their ads to capture the audience's attention. Now I'll show you another brand that I have found using Minia. So here is another brand that I have found that is using the exact same strategy. And as you can see, all of these ads have been running recently. So this is what you can see on Minia. You can see that this ad has been running for four years or three and a half years, so quite a long time and pretty recently. So currently it is early March. This has been running very recently. And if we have a look at the other ad, this has also been running very recently as well, just a few weeks ago. Now, before I show you how this brand is using the same tactic of putting an attractive female in their ads, I do just want to show you how I find ads on Minia. So on Minia, what you can do is you can go to the ads browsing platform and you can go and browse ads by each platform. So they've got ads from Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, and the Meta Ads Library. I like to choose Facebook because generally you'll find a lot more brands running ads on Facebook. And you can basically then use the Mania filters to find specific types of ads for e-commerce and Shopify brands. So that way you can find ads that are performing well and you can also find products that are performing well as well. So I like to narrow it down by dates. So if we come to the scene date, we can choose last 30 days, for example, and that way you can see ads that have been running in the last 30 days. So you can see products that are currently popular. If we go to media types, you can choose image and video. If we go to call to action, you can choose buy now and shop now, which are generally the call to actions that most Shopify stores use. If you come to e-commerce platform, you can actually narrow the ads down by Shopify. So you only find Shopify stores. I like to filter the engagement by likes. So I like to find ads that have a minimum of 3000 likes. So ads that have a fairly decent amount of engagement. And I have just filtered out by countries this time. So I have just chosen English speaking countries so I can find ads that are in English. But you can go and filter these out by any country. And then finally, I like to just go and sort the ads by likes. So that way I can go and find the ads that have the most likes. And these are the ads and products that are performing the best. And then I simply will just go and scroll through and see the strategies and tactics that these other dropshipping brands are using for their ads. And that's exactly how I have found the ads for these particular dropshipping stores. 
So let's have a look at this one here. Like I said, they're using the same tactic of putting an attractive female in their ads. And if we just go and play this, you can see that this is mostly a product targeted towards men. So it's a tactical belt for men. She is in the whole entire ad. But if we actually have a look at the products, you can see most of the products are for men. They're just putting an attractive female in the ads, again, to capture the audience's attention, to get higher click-through rates and lower CPMs. And if we actually have a look at these products again, you can see they're selling them for around $50. These ones are slightly more expensive, but I've just gone over to AliExpress and typed in Groove Belt. And as you can see, you can get these for around six pounds. So again, they have a really high markup on these particular products. And one thing that you can do on Meneer is you can simply click on find suppliers on any ad, and then you can go and find products on AliExpress for the particular product that you found on Meneer. So this just speeds up the process of finding suppliers for products as well. Now, like I say, if you are selling products for men, this is going to be one of the easiest tactics that you can implement into your ads and your ad hooks to capture more people's attention and get more potential customers. And it's very simple to find UGC creators that can create these hooks and ads for you. So I've just come over to Fiverr and typed in UGC content creator. And as you can see, here are a few different gigs that you could potentially use. These ones are slightly more expensive. You can definitely find cheaper ones than this. But as you can see, she'll do 15 seconds for around just over $100, probably about $115. As you can see, another one here, 15 seconds, and also this one here, 15 seconds. And that's all you really need. You just need to capture the audience's attention. And then the rest of the ad could just be product shots or footage that you've filmed yourself. But it's really important to get that hook right so you actually capture the audience's attention right away. And this is what a lot of beginner dropshippers, this is why their ads fail, because people don't even look at them. They just scroll right past them. They don't get the hook right. The hook is one of the most important parts of the ad to actually capture the audience's attention. Now, if you do want to start researching your own products and ads using Mania, I will leave a link in the description to Mania, and you can use the code Elliot20 for 20% off of your first month. So that is a simple tactic you can apply to your Facebook ads to capture more people's attention, get higher click-through rates and cheaper CPMs. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.